Before I get started, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new material that I'm going to be producing in the future. And that helps us grow the channel, grow more content, and help people like you. We write our uh, handlers uh, as a function. And the function gets usually uh, two parameters. Uh, one is W, which is a HTTP response writer. And this is the stuff that you're going to write into. Here you can set the HTTP headers and the status code, et cetera, et cetera. And on the second par parameter is R, which is the HTTP request. And here also you have the headers, you can have the body of the request, you have the path with uh, what are the things that went into the, um, what is the path it's trying to access. Uh, you can uh, require about basic authentic authentication and anything that is resembling an HTTP request. Okay, and this is a handler that I'm doing, I'm adding a lot to my code. This is a handler that checks the health of, of the server. So we have a lot of monitoring systems uh, like Prometheus uh, and others that what they do is you tell them this is the server, this is the URL and from time to time they just go and call this URL and expect that it will say okay. So in our case, we're just going to say okay, but in your case, uh, you can, for example, run a dummy query on the data or a simple query on the database to make sure that the database connection is working. Um, you can uh, try um, calling the authentication API to see that you have connection to the authentication API, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, this is just a basic health handler. It is not um, something that does uh, metrics and uh, other things. Okay, and in our main, what we're going to do is we are going to tell the HTTP package how to do what is known as the routing. Meaning, if someone is going to hit uh, slash health on the web server, uh, call this handler. So this is the routing. Uh, and pick any web server you want, they have uh, some kind, some notion of right, routing. The HTTP server uh, in Go has a very simple routing mechanism. Either you give it something like this and that it's going to be a match, an exact match, or you can edit with a slash and then it's everything below is going to get matched. If you're coming from frameworks that support regular expression in the routers, this router does not have support for regular expression to um, checking that, uh, to saying that for a get request to this handler and for a post request go to that handler, it doesn't have this. It's a very, very simple router. But if you're writing small APIs, small internal APIs, uh, it usually is good enough. If you want something more than that, uh, there are a lot out there. Uh, this is one popular uh, router that you can use, which is called Gorilla, Gorilla MOOCs. And this one supports regular expressions and specific, uh, and methods and uh, and many other things. All right, so uh, uh, and you, you can add variables inside the routes um, and give some kind of regular expression. If if you're coming from more so, um, from other languages, you're probably used to this kind of thing. Uh, and don't don't try to ask the the Go team to add more stuff to the router to the default router, they're not going to do it. One of the reasoning is that, especially regular expressions, it's really hard to know how much CPU a regular expression is going to get. And I'm asking forgiveness from Cloudflare uh, for bashing them, but uh, that's, uh, I just remember this one, but it, they're not the only ones out there. So Cloudflare, uh, again, um, um, 
they had a, a, an outage that I think it was also a couple of hours and it was due to someone writing a regular expression that exhausted the CPU uh, used for HTTP and HTTPS server. So regular expressions can be really dangerous and you need to know how to work with them. And the Go team saying, we're not going to give you this gun to shoot yourself in the foot. If you want to do it, go get an ex uh, a third party package and feel free to do it. But uh, the regular router is not, I can tell from experience, um, it's not that big of an issue. If, if you don't have really sophisticated routing in your application, a default one is good. Worst case, you do an if it's supposed to request do this router, otherwise do that router, and you're done. Um, okay, so routing, and then we need to start the server. So, so we have listen and serve, and we have listen and serve TLS, which is for, uh, HTTPS, and then we need to give it a certificate and a key, etc. So we're just going to do, uh, we tell it what to listen on. So what comes before the colon is the interface. And if it's empty, it's meaning it's going to listen on all the interfaces. And there is a parameter, a global handler that you can pass on. Most of the time it's going to be new. Okay, so uh, this is one basic HTTP server. Uh, 